there's a whole bunch of phenomenons with that with this boat. Uh, one of them I just showed you was the fact that you can uh, run it very, very easily uh, with one engine in the event that uh, one of the two engines uh, fail. Uh, but the other thing, of course, I'd already mentioned is the speed and the fuel economy. We've got a boat here that runs at displacement speeds, it runs at semi-displacement speeds, it runs at planing speeds, and it all does that very, very economically. Uh, and I hope that we can get some view here of the dashboard and uh, the gallons per hour and uh, the tax and the uh, GPS, which is asking off a lot. If we were in Hollywood, I would have had this whole roof off and I would have had a big fancy camera rig in order to show you all of that. But we're going to put some power to this boat and uh, you can see how it runs. The other thing you're going to see is the fact that I'm talking here with just through this little microphone and this is a very quiet boat. We have insulation all over the place. Uh, but uh, I'm going to put some speed to this boat. You can see how fast and how quick it runs right up. Here we are driving along. We're only at 2,500 RPM. And as you can see, we're only burning five and a half gallons per engine. And we're doing over 15 knots, which is uh, almost 17 miles an hour. Uh, the fuel burn on this boat is extraordinary. Well, the lack of fuel that we're burning is extraordinary. Uh, whether or not we can see through the windshield or not, I don't know. Uh, but we're running flat. We could run this boat forever. I mean, that's a total fuel consumption of only 10 or 11 gallons an hour doing 17 miles an hour. Uh, that's about half of what you'd expect in the average powerboat this size, 38-foot powerboat. And we're only running on 140 horsepower diesels. I don't know if you can see this. That's our fuel burn right there. Just a little over five gallons per hour. There's a tachometer at 2,500, and here we are doing 15 and a half uh, knots. Like I said, about 17 miles an hour. I'm going to put a little more power to the to the boat. We'll go up to 2,800. At 2,800 RPM, right here on the tax. We're doing 17 and a half knots. We're doing 20 miles an hour right now. And uh, there's our speed right down here. Uh, the range like this. There's no virtually no place you can't go. It's uh, just amazing. And by the way, we're running this boat right now uh, on half fuel and uh, half water and the belly tank, the auxiliary belly tank is full. So this isn't some light uh, loaded boat right now. Everything's loaded all aboard, including some of our tools. So uh, this is no gimmick. And you can come up to Rhode Island and see this for yourself. And wide open. Get the camera down right on that.
are running just a little above 90 percent power 21 knots you can move the camera over here you can see on the gps that it's 21 knots so uh, i know it thinks that we juice the knot meter coming up on to almost 22 knots on the gps Absolutely remarkable. Stable. There's the speed. There's the GPS. Well, there you have it. Uh, hopefully we're able to get on this camera. The fact the boat does 21 knots, how stable it is. The fact that there is no wake. Uh, and basically almost don't even need an autopilot in this boat. Uh, as I said at the beginning, uh, it's truly a remarkable boat. And uh, I've, done, I've designed some other power boats fairly conventional uh, planing boats, but uh, as many times as I've been out on this prototype, which is this is only the seventh or eighth time, I still, uh, I'm still uh, almost speechless, if that's possible.